Would it be biggest KO of the year? Let's go biggest KO. Biggest KO of the year. All right. This one, another one. Probably not going to be a massive surprise to anybody. Okay, but Adesanya versus Pareda, two. Okay. Yeah. Or five and, or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Second in, in uh, MMA. MMA. This is a huge deal to me because of the implication that came along with it. Sure, it was the title, mm -hmm. right? But you have this boogeyman that Israel Adesanya, which many regarded as the best middleweight at that point in time and one of the best middleweights that we've ever seen, yeah, that can't shake this boogeyman, Pereira. Okay, who followed so, him to another sport and knocked him out. Yeah, so <laughs> so a defining moment for his career altogether. Defining moment in his career, right? He so shut 2016. Out K nine says twisters are super high level. Yes. Oh, I love it. Oh, shout out K nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 2016, Pereira beats Adesanya in Glory of Heroes by decision. 2017, mm -hmm. Pereira beats Adesanya in Glory of Heroes seven by left hook KO. I think that's the one where Pereira's son like mocks him, right? Yeah. Falls. Uh, 2022. Flatlined him. In MMA, Pereira stops Adesanya through technical uh, knockout in the fifth round. You know, uh, you have Adesanya that's up against the cage, gets caught. And uh, we have uh, Pereira, Poatan, hands a stone, just landing massive shots, right? They have to stop. Just the standing it. KO. So it just seems like, hey, no matter what's going on, because Adesanya up to that point was winning the fight. Yeah, he was. He yeah. was winning the fight. Right. He, he had solid movement around the octagon. Uh, he was picking and choosing picking his spots. Off. He was in and out, mm -hmm. right? Uh, but he just got caught at then. And so we're, you're thinking, what's it going to take? Because he had gone four and a half rounds of <laughs> yeah. fantastic MMA beating Pereira, and Pereira lands a shot, wobbles him, and it's over. Mm -hmm. uh, so then here comes, again, th their second fight in MMA, right? Th this in the back Try of to get the I'm belt sure, back. In the back of Adesanya's <laughs> head. Like, dude, what, yeah. what's it going to take to get this guy out? And then he lands that shot that, like, grazes him by his temple. You see him mm -hmm. wobble a little bit, lands that master shot, knocks him With out. With his back on the fence. With his back on the fence, yes. And then he does the the arrow oh, shots man. to yeah, it was pull it on. Just, oh, my God. So, for me, that was a huge moment, the biggest knockout of the year, because it's almost like you just see the weight being lifted off of Adesanya's shoulders as he's doing the the whole bow yeah. and arrow thing. I mean, it was you cathartic. Just see, oh my god, it was insane. And that's a yeah. crazy picture too, right? One of the craziest pictures where you see yeah, um, shout out Toasty. Hey, what up, Toasty? Uh, you see Pereira laying on the floor, and they just How have cold. a perfect shot of Adesanya screaming in the background. Oh, yeah. dude, it's such a good shot. Um, but yeah, that's that's the biggest KO of the year for me. That's got to be biggest KO. That it was right? huge, huge. Um, so we'll move on to best knockout. Um, and there are some fun ones, uh, this year. Uh, I think the overhand right from Josh Emmett over Bryce Mitchell just recently where he killed him and yep. gave him a seizure. Uh, that is very good. It's a very good knockout. If you're Josh Emmett, um, the uh, other honorable mention would be in my opinion, Derek Lewis versus, uh, Delima because you rarely mm. see heavyweights finish a fight with a flying knee. Um, yep. and especially Derek Lewis with yep. a flying knee knockout uh, that broke all his teeth. Uh, so that's terrifying. That's a good uh, knockout. But for me, it's the Swedish Denzel over Shane Mitchell with his wheel kick knockout. Uh, and this one, um, we're going to go for it. Uh, we had uh, PFL posted on Twitter, so I think we can show it. Um, oh, so let's go ahead and show, in my opinion, the best knockout of the year. Uh, which again, if you're joining late, a little different than uh, biggest. Um, so we, we can highlight technique and moments because the sport is built off both of them. Um, yes, absolutely. So here we got Sadabu C, C, Sai, C, Sadabu C versus uh, Shane Mitchell in PFL. Uh, let me make sure there's no audio because that will get us taken down. Uh, we'll go full screen. Oh, okay. Let's see. Oh. Oh, beautiful. I mean. Come on. Dude. Quick. So good, man. Oh. That's tough lining. to beat, man. Uh, spinning wheel keep that clean. Whew. Uh, I want to give a good. little honorable mention in this one, if you don't mind. Let's uh do with Bonfim versus uh Terrence McKinney. Oh. 
That yeah, was a really good, a good one, one too, right? Terrence McKinney up against yeah. a cage, and he's like bouncing back a little bit. Von Feem comes in with the flying knee, and Terrence McKinney kind of Ooh. tries to duck out of the way of it, but instead he ducks right into a knee, flat lines him right away, and I thought that was uh, another phenomenal uh, KO, yeah. right? That's Same with uh, uh, honorable mention for biggest would also be uh, Islam with the high kick over Volk. That's a big oh. one. Absolutely, Very big absolutely. One. Submission of the year. I forgot my honorable mention was Dylan Dennis choking out a fan by the name of Ellie Brooke, uh, who started convulsing. <laughs> actually, so uh, just a reminder to everybody: do not ask fighters to uh, choke you out playfully, because yeah. uh, it could lead could lead to bad things, right? So shout out Dylan yeah. Dennis. <laughs> uh, Tosi right. also says, uh, "Is this MMA only? Because it's got to be super wrong getting flatlined." Uh, yeah, we're kind of just doing MMA for these one MMA awards. Um, but yeah, uh, was that the Alizov one? That was uh, was that this year? God, so many fights in a year. Seems so many like last year, but especially now that I started watching uh, one as well, I'm like, oh, this is so much. Yeah, Tosi says so they can much. ask me, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everybody, Romero and Will here. Thank you so much for watching that short clip. It's just a small clip of what we covered this last Sunday. Yeah, if you want to check out the full fight card recap, uh, the link is in the description and it's going to be on screen at the end here. Uh, and don't forget to go back and watch our fighter interviews that we have. Uh, and don't forget to tune in live every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern. Uh, and you can join in on the fun. Yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. It goes a long way. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching that short clip from Story of the Fight.